Hey there guys, how's it going? It's the Productive Dude here with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to take handwritten text like this right here and move it into Notion to create text that looks like this. So this is editable text, and there was no manual entry done here. There's actually a software that you can get on your phone that I'm going to show you that automatically goes ahead and converts your handwriting into text and then it sends it right over to Notion. And this is actually a pretty automated process. This is something that shouldn't uh, take a ton of your time. That was one of the things that uh, was commented on the last video where I talked about putting your handwritten notes into Notion. And somebody said, you know, this isn't super productive, you know, it takes a lot of time. So I wanted to release this new method that I've devised to help you guys save some time when you're moving these notes. And also just to keep that text formatting, because it's great to have like a picture of your notes, but it's even better to be able to turn your handwriting into text that you can edit within Notion. So we're going to start out by downloading this pen to print app on your phone. And the pen to print app is essentially what turns the handwritten text into readable uh, like computer text and editable computer text. So once you've downloaded this app and you open it up, you'll notice that this is a paid application. So there are free options, but there's no free option for just turning handwritten text into editable text that's actually easy to use. I will say that uh, Apple does have their own version of this uh, built in and you can copy the text, but this method allows you to quickly share the text. So for this application, it's only $9.99 a year or $1.99 per month, or you can do a one-time purchase of $30 and you'll have it forever. I just opted for the monthly subscription just for now. And once you open this app up, if you hit the plus button, you'll be able to hit from camera. And then from here, you can take a picture of whatever it is that you're trying to convert. So to start out, I'm just going to write some simple text out right here that I want to convert over to Notion uh, into like a note. So just some uh, sort of housekeeping rules for when you're writing your notes, you're gonna wanna make sure that these notes are simple. You can't have like a bunch of diagrams and things like that in here. Um, what I would stick to if I were you is just plain text uh, and try to, you know, try to have the best handwriting you can uh, when you're writing notes that you wanna convert over to Notion. So I'm just going to write, hello, YouTube. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want the letters to look at least somewhat like the letter that you are uh, trying to get it con to convert to. You can edit it later in the app very quickly and easily, but uh, just to get a clean read across the first time, I'm just gonna say, hello, YouTube. Thank you for watching this video, exclamation point. Okay, so that's a very basic piece of handwritten text. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the pen to print app on my phone and I'm just simply going to hit the blue plus button. And then if I hit from camera, it's going to pull up this screen right here and you can select what you want to uh, have sent over to Notion. So I'm just gonna take a picture of this screen right here and then you can adjust the boundaries on this. So I'm just gonna pull it down just so that it doesn't pick anything else up. It shouldn't, but uh, I'm just gonna surround the text area that, I'm, that I wanna select and then I'm gonna hit next and it pulls up this screen. So it's done a pretty good job of picking up this text, but unfortunately, uh, as you guys can see, it moved the exclamation point from the bottom line to the top line. So all you have to do to edit this is just simply hit edit get rid of that, and then if I hit edit again and add an exclamation point down there, then I hit done. Now I have that handwritten text all right here and formatted properly. So if I hit next here, I can hit the share button. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to not hit Notion because if you hit Notion, it actually just makes this text your um, title of the note it doesn't fill in the note which is kind of annoying and eventually they might have a better feature for this but what I do is I just email it to myself and I set the subject line to whatever I want the title to be so if I want the title of this note to be YouTube I would just type in YouTube and then I have my text right there hello YouTube thank you for watching this video okay and then I'm just going to send this to myself 
I'm gonna hit send. And because of the way that I have this set up, it's actually going to automatically go over to Notion. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up in a moment. All right, so here's my note that's loaded in. And as you can see, the title is set to YouTube and this text is filled in down here. And this all happened using an app called Zapier. So Zapier allows you to connect different apps. So what I've done is I've connected my Gmail app with Notion so that every time I get an email from myself, it's going to send that over to Notion. And the subject line of the email is what it's going to use for the title. And then whatever the content is, is going to show up down here. And as you guys can see, this is perfect text. So I can edit this if I wanted to change the YouTube here. I could do that and it's not handwritten anymore, but that started as a handwritten piece of text. And now I can come in here and I can highlight it. I can do whatever I want with it. And it's just normal text. So uh, the beauty of this is it's going to save you a lot of time when you're converting your handwritten text over to Notion. So now let me show you how to set up the automation using Zapier that allows you to automatically send this over. So Zapier is a paid product, but they also have a free plan. And I believe that the free plan should work okay for you, but I'm on the professional plan because I want unlimited zaps. So a zap is just considered like what kind of automation you want to have set up and uh, how many times that's going to occur. So uh, with the free plan, you get five zaps per month with this $20 plan, you get 20 zaps. And then the reason I got on this professional plan is because it's unlimited and I use this for my business. So that's kind of why I did this. The other perk of going to the professional plan is it only takes two minutes to, to update the zap to uh, take place. So when it reads through my uh, email and it sees, oh, there's a new uh, zap that needs to occur because Carter just got an email from himself. It's only gonna take two minutes for that to occur. If you're on the free or the starter plan, it's going to take 15 minutes for the automation to occur, but you could take multiple images and just send them all over and then it'll just basically take 15 minutes to send them. So it's not entirely instant, um, but that is just something to keep in mind if you are using Zapier for this automation. So once you make your Zapier account, you're just going to go to the create zap button. And at this point, you're just going to set up a trigger and a trigger in Zapier is essentially um, what happens that triggers the automation. So for me, it's going to be getting an email from myself in Gmail. So let's name this zap. Let's call it handwritten text to notion. And I'm actually just going to put a little arrow in here. I'm just going to search for an app in here. You can search for lots of different apps, but I'm just going to click Gmail, click choose an event and then hit new email. And then I'm going to hit continue. And I'm gonna hook up my Gmail account, which I've already done this, but you'll have to hook up your Gmail account to this, which is pretty simple. It walks you through the steps. Uh, you pretty much just have to log in using your Gmail account on Zapier and it'll connect it for you. But I'm just going to select this one here and hit continue. And then I'm going to go to my mailbox slash label. And then I'm going to click on the trigger. So this is basically asking us what needs to happen in order for this zap to start. So I'm going to say that this is going to occur in the inbox. So anything that comes into my inbox, and then I'm going to hit continue, then I'll hit test trigger, and it should find a test email right here. Once this is all set up, I'm just going to hit continue. Now you might be thinking, okay, that's great that you've set that up. But now it's just going to send all of your emails from Gmail into notion. And that's true. What we need to do is we need to set up a filter. So I'm going to hit the plus button in between these two, and I'm going to type in filter. So the neat thing about Zapier is they actually have these filters that allow you to only let this task occur if the email meets a certain condition. So only continue if the from email contains and then enter your from email. So it's just going to be your own email if you're sending yourself an email. OK, and then hit continue and it says your zap would have continued. It might say yours wouldn't have continued if you haven't sent yourself an email recently. But since I just showed you guys that example, it's pulling that email in and it's saying this would have worked. Next, we're going to do this final step of adding Notion in our actions here. And I'm just going to hit on the latest version of Notion here and hit choose an event. And we're going to hit create database item. Continue. And right here where it says Notion account, you're just going to want to select the account that you've connected. Make sure that you've allowed all uh, of your databases to be used in Zapier when you hook Notion up because you'll have to connect an account here. 
So when you hit connect a new account or whatever, like just make sure that you give permission to the database where you're storing the note. And if you guys need to learn more about uh, like how to build a notes database, I've got a great video on that. So I'm going to actually have a link to it pop up in the corner right now. And if you need help building like a database to store your notes in, then definitely check that video out and then come back and resume here. But what you're gonna do here is just select the Notion account. And I know that this one right here is allowing everything to come through for me. So I'm gonna hit continue. And then where it says set up action, I'm going to choose a database. So I'm gonna type notes because that's the database I want. I'm just gonna select the notes. And then here I have to give the new item that's going into my database a name. So I'm just going to select new email and Gmail, and then I'm gonna hit the subject button. So that's just saying that the name is going to be pulled from the subject line of your email. So the name of your new page that's getting created in Notion. And then I'm gonna go into note type here, and I actually have a note type that I've created called handwritten. So I'm gonna select that so that every handwritten note that comes into Notion from now on gets marked as handwritten automatically. And that way I can sort through all my notes later on, all my handwritten notes, and I can come in and in Notion, I can change them to introspective or learning or video plans just to categorize them. But right now it's just a catch all that says handwritten. And then leave source blank. If you have a source, if you wanna make these private, you can add a uh, function to do that within Notion. Uh, you might not have all of these, but these are just all of the fields that I have in my particular database that I'm using. Like I said, if you're having trouble with this part, then you probably need to check out my uh, how to make a notes database video. Next, I'm going to select this content section right here. And the content section is basically whatever is going to be inside of your page. So for content, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go to new email and Gmail. I'm gonna hit show all options. And then we're going to scroll down to where it says, just gonna type in body. Yeah, body plane. That's the one you're gonna wanna use. Then I'll click off and hit continue. So now this is all set up, it's ready to go. I just have to hit test and continue and it should say a database item has been sent to Notion just now. And if it doesn't, that means that you just haven't uh, emailed yourself. So we're gonna go back to that first step where I took a picture of that note and we're gonna see if this works properly. So I'm gonna turn my zap on and then once it's on, we can head over to Notion. Okay, I'm in my notes database here, and if I go to handwritten, as you can see, we have the YouTube one in here. We also have the YouTube one that I sent earlier, which wasn't automatically getting sent to handwritten because I didn't have it set up properly on my last one. So if I go into YouTube here, you'll see that it's pulling in that text from the email. So that's great. Uh, it's also marking it as handwritten because that's how we set it up. Um, if your database doesn't look like this, it's probably because you don't have it grouped. So if you go to group, you can actually group by note type and that's going to sort your notes into all of the note types that you've set for your database. But for me, what I'm just going to do is hit group and I'm going to turn it off for right now just to show you, um, just to show you what it would normally look like. So this is probably what your notes database would normally look like, but if you hit group here, group by, note type, or whatever you wanna group by, then you'll be able to see everything here. So now let's test this to make sure that this is in fact working. So I'm just gonna write yet another note in my uh, notebook here. Let's just write subscribe and like this video. So I'm gonna open the pen to print app back up hit my plus button from camera. I'm gonna take a picture of this text. I'm gonna size it down to the proper text area. And then I'm gonna hit next. And it's figured this out quite well, but it did put a comma where the period was. So I'm just gonna change that out really quick. Subscribe and like this video, hit next, and then hit the share button. Next, I'm gonna click Gmail and I'm gonna send it to myself and I'm gonna change the subject line so that it comes in on Notion with the title properly. So let's just change that to, uh, let's see, um, share this if you enjoyed. So that should be the name of the note and the content should be what's appearing down here. So I'm gonna hit send. Now let's head back over to Notion. So boom, as you can see, like just as I was switching over it, it's changed it to share this if you enjoyed. And if I click into it, as you can see, we have the text in here and it's marked it as handwritten because it's used that zap. 
So I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that this kind of helps you uh, take your notes to the next level and kind of digitize some of the handwritten notes that you've taken. Again, this isn't a perfect system and OCR uh, or like handwriting recognition hasn't gotten to the point where it's so good that it's just perfect every time. And the reason for that is, is a lot of the applications that are running this are on different phone types. So we got different cameras that they're working with. Uh, it's also like different lighting conditions when people are taking pictures and everyone has their own unique handwriting. I mean, sometimes people even uh, like forensics teams even look at handwriting to decide like if a crime has been committed or something like that. So your handwriting is almost as unique as your fingerprint. And uh, to solve for that is pretty challenging. So it's it's pretty amazing what these handwriting recognition tools have already done but i'm excited to see what else comes in the future so this is just going to continue getting better from here i think but i hope that for now this is a good way for you guys to convert your handwritten text into a digital storable format all right i hope you enjoyed this one and if you did please leave a like subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see you in the next one all right peace guys